Sixth grade social studies using improv to review. I'm Jane Seymour, your sixth grade virtual specialist. So in this lesson, we're going to do a protest game, and it's based on the improv class that I took a couple years ago. So it's fun, it's interactive, and the students love it. Plus, it's a great way to review. Basically, here's what here's how it goes. After a unit of study, say Canada, you line the students up in a row, or maybe two or three deep. You line them up and then you tell them, okay, the first kid has to come up with a term and then everyone says that term. Second kid, same thing, and then third kid, and so on. Okay, so for example, what it would look like is the first kid would say, okay, if we're doing Canada, the first kid would say, Great Lakes. Then everyone would say, Great Lakes, you know, like a protest. Then the next one, the students would say, the next student would say, um, Hudson Bay. So we have Great Lakes, Hudson Bay. Then the third student would say, Great Lakes, Hudson Bay, and Quebec. And everybody would say this. The catch is, if the person comes, if it comes to the person and the person can't think of, the, of another term, or if he messes up the order, then he's out. And the last one standing wins. So why is this good? This game, it's repetitive. There's no prep. Unless you want to have um, posters, you know, you can have kids do posters, but that's a little bit of prep. It's easy. It's fun. It's a great way to review. It's great for the linguistic learner, the one who can think fast on their feet. It's also active. Here are the specific directions for it. So if you would like to pause the video, you know, here you go. So guiding questions for students. What strategies did you use in this game? What terms do you remember most? Questions? Contact me through Georgia Department of Education Community if you have any questions or if you just want to share your student successes. Have a great school year. Enjoy and explore.